Hello, and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on Thursday, September the 5th, 2024. Tom, it's a lot of talk about central banks or cutting interest rates. What does this mean for the markets? Well, cutting interest rates is always good for stock markets. You know, interest rates are the enemy of stock prices. Uh, there's been lots and lots of talk about it. Therefore, it's, it's discounted in the market to some degree. The Bank of Canada cut its rate by a quarter of 1% yesterday. And, uh, but that's, that's chump change. It's what's going to happen in the U.S. Um, they, I, they are going to cut rates there. The market knows that already. Uh, they have to cut to get an economy moving in this pre-election period. Just remember, though, interest, a yield curve, that's a normal yield curve. Interest rates are lower in the short end, higher in the long end. The, 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 the banks, the central bank can control the short end. The long end, they can't because that's uh, dictated to by investors, uh, inflation outlook, uh, the economy, etc. So you might see it tilt like that, or you might see it just move down. I think it's going to move down a little bit. That will help mortgages. It, it, it should be a positive thing all around. But in the stock market, I think it's kind of in there already. So speaking of markets, what is your focus these days in terms of the markets? The market has been extremely resilient. You know, you, there are concerns about leadership in the United States. I mean, you don't have great choices there. Uh, what's going to happen in the economy down there? But the market has been quite resilient. The economy has been quite strong. And and uh, inflation seems to be easing. So it has the spur of this interest rate. Uh, the real money has still been made in the private equity market. Markets have changed in that you don't make money in that hot new issue. The hot new issues don't come there. That's in the private equity. By the time a company becomes public, it becomes a new issue, uh, a, a, an initial public offering. That's the unload period for us private equity guys. So, and, and investors, if they're looking at equities, you, you do have to move backward a little bit before the IPO event into the private equity market. And uh, we've been very active in that, as you know. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Tom. You're very welcome. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now. 